All right, I have a question from Neha here. So in this example, if I have to know the address of 3, then which address it will show? All right, let me just check here. So in order to have the access of variable 3, it would be the array. I'll just do it for you. I'll just do something for you here. It would be array, and if I say 0, it will be the value 3. And similarly, if I say array, one and it would be the value six and so on and so forth it will be reaching the value 64 I hope this is clear to you now Neha can you quickly write it on the chat window if this is clear to you now how the indexes are bound with the values here So I have a question for all of you here, which will legally declare, construct and initialize an array here. So as you can see, you have got four options wherein I have an array, my list, which says quotes 1, quotes 2, quotes 3, then I have array, my integer array, my list, which has values 5, 8, 2. Then I have a two-dimensional array with the values 4, 9, 7, 0. Then I have the my list array with the values 4, 3, 7. So which is the correct option to it and how one can legally construct an array out of these options. So you all can cast your votes onto the polling window that you are seeing on top of your screens. I will wait for you, all of you to finish up casting votes. So majority of the people have got voted up. So the correct option to it is the option B, which is int array my list. And here I have the values. Five. All right, sir. All right, I'm sorry about that. It is like I have seen the all the options here. It is int array my list one two three, which people have gone for the option A, which is 25%, which is not the right answer to it. Then we have int array my list, and in this I have got the circular brackets here. So which is 582. That is also not the correct option to it. And then I have the third op the last option, which is the option D. Int my list array 437. So this is the correct answer to it. I'll just do it for you all here. So here what I'm doing is I'm creating an array, int array. And I just do place an array after it. So this is legal declaration. All right. Now if I go for the option A here. If I try to bring it up in quotes here, so what will happen is it will be having in sync types because what I'm doing is I'm creating an integer array and I'm place, trying to place string variables in the integer array. So this is also not valid. All right. Now let's see the third, uh, second option here, int my list with the options 5, 3, 2. So here if I try to do it, int array. I do it int array here and remove this up and also try to do it within the circular brackets here. And if I try to give it the value 1, 3, 4, 1, 4, 5 and all and it, you can see this is not a valid method too. So the correct option to it is the option D which is int my list and which holds the value 437. I hope everybody understands this now. Any person having any doubts here? You can write it on to the chat windows. So let's also talk about the classes concepts here in Java. So we can create a new object type with the class keyword. So a class definition can contain the variable, the initialization code, and the methods, which is very much like a C and C++ programming construct that you can you people can think about, right? An example class here, I have created a package for the class. If I talk about the packaging 
is in Java classes. Suppose if I have an application wherein I have 10 classes that take care of the multiplication processes in my application. I have 10 classes that take care of the addition and the subtraction. Right? So what I can do is I can further sub package them. I can have a package which contains only those classes that take care of the multiplication processes and I can also have a package wherein I house five addition classes and similarly a package where I house five division classes or same subtraction classes for sake. It is very much like grouping of classes that actually form a part of a component together. Right? So this is how a packaging is done. Then we have the public class car. Car is the name of the class. Then we have the various attributes of the class which is name, color and weight. Then we have various methods that work on this particular class which is void move. So all the objects of this class will be actually using this.